be a video. Uh, this is a demonstration of a uh, program that has been worked on using the robot and uh, Festo controllers and uh, Festo conveyors. Okay, now there is a dispenser which just uh, dispensed out a puck. The puck is upside down and the robot is picking it up. As you can see there, the robot program is running in conjunction with the uh, codices program in the Festo controller. And then the uh, robot arm is going to go and uh, drop that in the P-turn position, which is done in that P-turn from there. There's a separate PLC which actually runs it to the, uh, to the arm, which realizes it's upside down. So it sends it to the far end, and the swing arm comes over, grabs it, lifts it up, turn it upside down, it's upside down and gain focus. We dropped it. Now it comes right out. And the robot now picks that up from the P-turn position and goes over to check the material of that puck. It can be silver, it can be black plastic, or it can be red plastic. If it is silver, the lights come on and then according to that it will come over and drop that in the final resting position which is basically on this table here and it's putting it in position one two three four and then when that is done it is going to release that and go back to his normal position and that is his home position and uh, what happens here to get the show going again I have to come to this and turn the key to stop and then switch on again and then press that button that releases that puck and that's picked up and is put on the conveyor there and the robot is coming and picking that puck up it is upside down and uh, it is going to bring over to the p-turn position and the p-turn position is in this plc here and what it's doing is dropping it on the conveyor position p-turn position and that conveyor comes on it's moving it to the stop the grab comes up decides whether it needs to be turned over or not it doesn't need to be turned over so it's sent forward the robot comes over picks the puck up and uh, grabs it and is going to bring over to test it whether it's metal red or uh, black it has to pass the test and then Let's get a logical signal from there, or depending on black, red, or metal. And then it's going to finally bring it down to position number five, and it's going to drop it there. And when it's done number six, it will literally stop. So what it's doing now is going to the home position. And then it's going to rest for a signal to indicate that it's ready for new next action. We're using Festo PLC, uh, CP, CPX, CPC. There's one PLC there. Uh, that is actually for this station, which literally puts uh, uh, material inside, puts a ring inside the puck. 
which we're not using at the moment, bypassing it. And here, this station is run by this PLC, and that literally checks it whether it's black. If it is black, it just rejects it. If it's red or white, it lets it get through. And we have this Mitsubishi robot uh, machine here. That's the Mitsubishi. CR750D. The controls are very simple. What I have here is a servo on, servo off, start, stop, reset, and end. And there's the master power switch there. Okay, other than that, I have in the back the power supply coming from there, and basically a network again control box and that's basically is the end of the demo thank you